Army Hammer, Tom Skerritt, Josh Charles, and the cast of young Jean Lee's Straight White Men are gearing up for the play's Broadway premiere. The story centers on a father and his three grown sons as a Christmas Eve celebration turns into a confrontation about privilege and identity. We recently caught up with Lee, director Anna DiShapiro, and the stars of Straight White Men ahead of the play's Broadway bow. It is a wonderful anthropological look and study done immaculately by young Jean Lee uh, about the nature of what it means to be a straight white man. I was really interested in the idea that a play called Straight White Men was written by an Asian American female and I was surprised that she had the insights that she did. It's played by Young Jean that, it, that is a thought-provoking piece and she, the fact that she's the first Asian American female playwright to ever be on Broadway. There's a lot of stuff that felt very special about it and it, it feels, uh, you know, to me like we're getting to put our stamp on it. Everything comes from the inspiration of the writer. We are inspired by that. So uh, this is that kind of a play. I'm moved to probe what this is, where this is going because we're all personally having responses to it as we get into it. Young Jean Lee is known for her subversive wit, and with this play, she is investigating privilege and power as the root cause of inequality. Straight white men, that used to not be really an identity category, and it was just straight white men just got to be default human beings, you know, and they didn't have to deal with having that label put on them, you know, which all the rest of us do, and none of us like it, you know, and so now they're experiencing it for the first time and sort of going through this really disorienting experience of being labeled in that way. Theater is such a visual contract, and the opportunity that we had because we were doing it on Broadway was to cast people who before they even said a word, the audience could make a decision about in terms of how they felt. I feel like any single one of them, if straight white man were in the dictionary, there could be a picture of any of them. And that's incredibly helpful for this play, for better or for worse. Most stories that we get in, you know, in the entertainment sphere are told almost exclusively from the perspective of straight white men, regardless of what the story is about. And it's nice now to see that not happen and instead see the lens turned back around. In addition to the straight white male characters, the play has two more cast members, both portrayed by trans performers, framing the piece and addressing the audience. I'm definitely not a straight white man. That's why other people should come and see it. And, um, you know, uh, people of color, I think people from various backgrounds, ages, races, sexual orientations, um, you know, trans, non-binary community should definitely come and check this piece out. Ty and Kate, who frame the play for us, and, you know, that's just a really incredible and generous and innovative gesture on the part of Young Jean, because basically what she's asking the audience to do is look through the lens of people who um, engage with the world in a very marginalized way, look through their lens to the people whose engagement with the world is not marginalized. What I'm learning is that it's possible to break the mold on Broadway. And my heart skips a beat when I think I'm part of that. Straight White Men begins performances at Broadway's Hayes Theater on June 29th.